In my last video, I criticized Jane's revenge. So in this video, I'm going to try and address some of the criticisms and points brought up by this comrade and some others. So I don't really see this as a conversation about dogmatically interpreting Marx or any other revolutionary, but almost all revolutionaries have at some point or another addressed the question of terrorism, of violence, of adventurous tactics. But let's forget about Marx for a second. Check out Brett Hampton's interview on YouTube where he criticizes the Weather Underground and their tactics as opportunistic, individualistic, anarchistic, and custeristic. It's an amazing interview. Lenin has a few texts which he shreds over and over again, adventurous tactics. I'll drop some links into the comment section. Lenin, in one of these pieces, says... But things can still be put to rights, comrades. Loss of faith in a real cause is the rare exception rather than the rule. The urge to commit terrorist acts is a passing mood. Dimitrov versus Goring. Give this a Google. It's free to read online. Georgi Dimitrov was accused by the Nazi party of starting the Reichstag fire fire on the German parliament building. And in that trial, Dimitrov over and over defends the Communist Party of Germany and communism in general by calling out how that is not a tactic or an action that would be supported by any communist. Dimitrov says at one point, mass work, mass activity, mass opposition, and the united front. No adventurism. These are the alpha and omega of communist tactics. And Mao says, if we try to go on the offensive when the masses are not yet awakened, that would be adventurism. Only 61% of Americans even support access to safe abortions. So I think that I'm safe in saying that the number of people that support violence in order to secure these rights is far, 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 far lower. The public is not burning down these buildings. It's a couple of anarchistic adventurists that are. There's only been like, what, two fires? Uh, and they aren't leading the masses. They're distancing themselves from the masses and us by proxy. I get anarchists wanting to put the cart before the horse, but Marxists should understand that our priorities are in organizing in our communities and building a party that's able to lead the working class. Adventurists succumb to impatience and pessimism and lead us not to victory, but to prison cells and graves. It spreads apathy, not action among the masses. 